And I want to show you how to work with the HTML5 video player widget that you can get for Dreamweaver uh, using the widget browser. This is actually really pretty cool. It's uh, using the video tag for HTML5 and it has fallback by using Flash or utilizing Flash for certain browsers or older browsers. So what I want to do is I've got Dreamweaver CS5 open here and you guys can do this in, in other applications as well. It doesn't have to be Dreamweaver. If you download the widget browser or if you're in Dreamweaver if you come up to the top here, you'll see we have Widget Browser. I'll click on that. And it should open up your Widget Browser, and you guys can go to Adobe Exchange, and what you need to do is you need to sign in. And that usually requires an Adobe ID and all that stuff. And once you get that done, you can find the HTML5 video player kind of hanging out here. And I'll click on that. It'll open it up and say, okay, let's allow, allow whatever. Go in there, and of course, it's going to say, oh, you didn't sign in yet, which is awesome. So let me do that real quick. Pain in the butt. This should remember it. I'll say stay signed in. Sign in. Course allow. Should get me in there. And then what's, what's going to happen here is it's going to take me in and say, oh, look, here it is, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, it's kind of cool, but it's actually using the Kaltura uh, player, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of, um, kind of interesting how it works, but I'll show you a little bit about that. So if you look down here, you'll see it says add to my widgets. I'll click on that. It'll add it to my widgets after I accept this license. And it's going to say, all right, go to my widgets, and there it is. Now, if I click on it, it's going to take me in and show me a live view, and you can see the player itself. Once again, it's using the video tag from HTML5, and you know any browsers that support that, it'll use it. If I want to, I can create presets. Now, I'll see. you can see I've created one over here already, but I'm going to come down lower left here and click on Configure, and there's not too many things to configure, you guys. Now, the thing about this is that it comes with a few options. You know, you can preload it, so it actually preloads the video and shows you a little thing here that says, "Oh, it's loading it in." You can have it autoplay if you want to, and you can have it loop. So it'll you'll, you'll see it out here. It'll start to autoplay. I'll just turn that off. But and you can also loop it if you want to, kind of go back and forth. Uh, excuse me, keep going uh, once it gets to the end. Go back to the beginning. And there's the themes here. We've got a lot of themes we can work off of. So if you want to try one of these, you can. Got to give it a second. Go over there. You guys can hover over and see what the player looks like, the skin looks like. Now, the thing about this is that these are basic themes. You know, these are themes that you'll find that actually use jQuery and uh, jQuery CSS and things like that. And we can edit these when we get this in the Dreamweaver, which is kind of cool. And I'll show you guys another tip too later on. But if I click on the code here, I can see the code that's going to happen and what it'll, what it'll do. And it's using, like I said, jQuery. It's using some you know, JS for their player, uh, for the Kaltura player. It's also using the video tag, and it's using three different sources here, three different video file sources, which allow it to play in pretty much all the browsers that support stuff. So like H.264, WebM, and OGV. Anyway, I'm going to save this as a preset here. I'll give this a name. I'll call it Brian, whatever. I'll click Save Preset, and there it is. Now, I can close the widget, br widget browser if I want to. I'll go to Dreamweaver. And you guys, if you don't have Dreamweaver, in the widget browser, just go to the code. You can copy paste and use that. But in Dreamweaver, I'll put my cursor out here. And you just have to have a place for this thing. So I'll insert my cursor somewhere. Usually I put it in a div or something like that. I usually go up to the Insert menu and choose Widget. And what it does is, it says, oh, OK, well, which widget do you want to insert? Now, these are all widgets that you've downloaded, put it in your widgets. And then you can choose your preset. So these are ones we saved in the widget browser there. I'll choose Brian, click OK, and it should put it in for me. Now I'll save my file, and what's going to happen is it's going to put a lot of these related files or files necessary to get this to work, CSS, JavaScript, things like that. And if I want to edit this, do a few things to it, I can click on it, and you'll see down here, I know it's a little hard to see, um, I've got the video tag, and I'll zoom in a bit right there. You can see the video tag. I'll zoom out. And if I go to split view, let's say, right up here, I can see the video tag. Now, we can do set up like width, height, things like that. And of course, you've got to take into account the, the size of the video. Now, I know this is going to control the player itself um, as well, but you guys can put in a width and height if you want to. You can choose a, a poster, which is obviously it's an image that you guys upload to your server and put somewhere or somewhere else. Uh, there is a, an image in here that it inserts into your uh, your site file once you guys set that up. 
Duration, you can put the duration in here, and we can tell it to preload automatically, which is kind of cool. And like I said, these are the source files for the video. Now, l let's just take a look at this. I'm going to click on Live View. You guys can take it out to a browser if you want to. And like I said before, it's going to play HTML5 compatible using the video tag. If not, it's going to kind of go back to using Flash or the Flash player. And you can see it's got the black tie player. I'll click on play and we'll go out and play it. And there we go. Now, the thing about this, like I said, is that it's got several different formats we can use. And I've actually put a little bit of information right here um, about the different formats. If I scroll down once again to the video tag. I apologize, you guys, for this. Um, I'm kind of going down. Let me get out of live view real quick. It's using the code automatically. Let me click on this and take a look. You guys are going to see the WebM format, the M4V, or H.264 kind of thing, OGV. And if I look right over here, I'll see that typically these are for different uh, web formats. Like WebM is kind of a Google format. OG or OG, I don't know how you even say it, is kind of a wrapper or a package type thing. And you can see the browsers that it supports. Okay, so we're trying to give it some options here. Now, if you guys are, are creating your own video content and you want to be able to give it these four, three different uh, web types, you're going to probably have to do some kind of conversion uh, from your uh, file format, whatever you have. Well, I've got a couple of options here you can choose. Uh, if, if you have video editing software that will convert to, let's say, AUG, the MP4, M, uh, or WebM, you can use that. But there's something like uh, the Miro Video Converter, which is kind of cool. You can use something like this. You can also use the AVS for you, the AVS Video Converter. This is something I use a lot on my Windows machine. And this supports the, all those formats. And you can see all the video formats it supports right here by clicking Video Formats. So anyway, you can convert video to do that. Now, the other thing is, if you want to change the look and the feel for this thing, let's say you want to change the skin. If I take a look over at my files over here, we're going to see that um, we actually have the files in here. You're going to see the Kel Kaltura uh, widget player right there. I'll take a look, and we've got all the different modules, and I've got the CSS file right there. And we can go in and actually, you know, do what we want. Now I can go into Live View if I want to again, and take a look at the CSS styles. And once this thing loads, I'll just give it a second here. We'll see the player itself, the skin. I can go into Inspect mode here, click on Inspect, and come out here and see the different uh, styles that we've got available. Uh, and you can see where they are and that sort of thing. You guys can kind of wade through and figure out how that works. You can also do something like this. This is pretty cool. Let me turn off Live View. Now, I want to skin this thing a little differently. So, if I do this, if I insert it and I go out to the browser, and if you guys go to jQuery.com and find something called Theme Roller, you guys will see the URL right up here, jQueryUI.com slash Theme Roller. Um, th th there's also, this is also available on the, uh, the website for the, the widget composer, the maker. But this is a pretty pretty cool thing here. What you guys can do is you can go over here and pick from a gallery of themes. Because you guys, it's just using the jQuery CSS to get this to work, to get skinned. So we can pick one of these. And it's really cool. Out here it shows you what it's going to kind of look like. Now, there's a button right there. That's what the buttons are going to look like. This is what the, uh, the player bar is going to look like. You're going to see the slider or the pr progress bar, what they're going to look like. But you guys can pick one and say, yeah, I kind of like that. And what you can then do is you can edit it. So I can click on edit right here. And it just takes you over to roll your own and lets you guys go in and do things like set your own fonts, your own corner radius, whatever you want. This is really pretty cool. So I could go in here and say, oh, let's just you know throw Arial at it. Take a look, you're going to see the fonts change out here. I can do things like change the you know, font weight to bold. Uh, I can change corner radius. You know, This is obviously for CSS3 uh, supported browsers. That's going to change the buttons as well as the player bar. And then I can go into the default state. Now this is what the player bar is going to look like and the buttons are going to look like. So you're going to see there's tons of cool stuff here. Let me zoom in. I can do like background color and texture. Look at all these background images we can use, stuff like that. I mean, you can go kind of nuts here. Um, but just get in here and just start digging. There's some really cool things you can do. And then what we do is we download it. So I click Download Theme. It's going to download it. Now, I don't need all this crap. There's tons of core, there's tons of stuff in here for the, for the jQuery, but 
I'm going to see deselect all components and I just want the core elements that's the CSS file basically and I'll click on download and you guys this is going to take a few seconds here just give it a, a second I'll save it obviously it's a little different on Mac and Windows you got to go find that zip file and I'll see I've got it right here let me do this and I've got another one too now I've got tons of stuff out here you guys so don't even worry about what I got going on there's my folder I'm going to go back over to Dreamweaver and what I want to do is I want to find this Kaltura folder that's located in your in your site and I'm going to go show it or find it out in my hard drive wherever however you guys do that go find your site folder and find this Kaltura folder if you guys want you can right click on it inside of Dreamweaver and choose reveal and finder or on Windows I think it's like uh, explore or something like that I'll open it up and you can see right here I've got it and what I want to do is I want to take that folder that I had and where is that folder hold on bear with me for one second the jQuery folder and I'm just gonna take the whole folder you guys and you can just take there's a CSS file in here that, that, that we need but I'm gonna take the whole jQuery folder and just slap it in my folder okay into that Kaltura folder and if I refresh here inside the dream you guys will see there's jQuery folder like I said you don't need all this stuff but and then what I do is this there is actually over here I know I'm gonna a little go a little faster you guys but there's a CSS folder in here in the custom theme folder and there's a jQuery UI 185 custom CSS file now, this is the version that I'm using right now that I downloaded and what I want to do is come over here click on this let me zoom in a little bit and I just need to copy this name so I'm gonna just do a control C or a command C copy the name go into my code here now I should have done this first I'm doing this backwards you guys <laughs> hold on here's a, I'm just doing this backwards sorry so what I'll actually do is come in here you guys will see that we've got the JavaScript things like that we've got style sheet um, I'm gonna link to that style sheet okay so if I scroll down here a little bit I'll see this link right here Kaltura HTML5 widget let me do this first you guys I should have done that. I did this backwards I'll copy this link we need a link to that new CSS file now it needs to go after this player static CSS and we're gonna put it after this jQuery UI CSS so I'll put it down here after style hit return and paste now I just copied that link now we're gonna change it now this is gonna be kind of annoying you guys because I've got to go in and add this folder over here and all this other crap you gotta be careful you guys because you need the images and stuff but you could just pull the CSS folder anyway I'll click on this folder right here I'll copy the name of that and I'll just do this here so you guys can see it forward slash CSS forward slash custom theme you guys I'm sorry there's a lot of other ways to do this I'm just kind of being a dink about this but anyway <laughs> forward slash I'll grab that file right there I'll copy the name for that and put that in the CSS so I'll show you exactly what it's supposed to look like here so that's what the path should look like that's because I stuck it in that same Kaltura folder you guys don't have to obviously but I, I want to keep it all together get a CSS that looks like this there we go now I'll go back into design view I'll go to live view you guys can test it out in the browser if you want to it's up to you I'll save it take a look give it a second here to load hover over and there we go so there's my new CSS my new skin everything looks awesome I got my progress bar going on and it's all exactly like I set uh, when I when I skinned it so yeah I know this isn't the best example you know there's tons of stuff that you guys can do if you're designing stuff just think about the possibilities there's tons of things you can get done with this just go up to the jQuery site up there find that URL skin it get that content in there all you really need you guys is you need that custom CSS file and you need the images folder that's really what you need the rest of this crap the, the JavaScript all that sort of thing we really don't need okay like I said you can just pull that if you want to and pull that in um, but I just I got lazy I threw the whole folder in there and said oh Kaltura there we go so that's it that's working with the HTML5 video player widget. Tons of stuff we could do. Just explore.